Hey folks, this is OC from Digital Adventures. Got another great project for you today. This one is called Coin Animations. And so essentially what we have is a couple of different sprites. We have a hero sprite dot, and then we have a couple of different buttons that we're going to basically jump up into. And these buttons are going to essentially generate coins for us that we're going to keep track of. So let me click on full screen and show you how this works. So we click on the green flag, we jump up, we see that we get coins for the next one, jump up, get coins, and then for the final one. So you might recognize this from video games like uh, Mario Brothers or any of the other ones where basically you're doing one thing that activates another thing. So let's go ahead and close out a full screen and let's show you how this works. So we're going to start off with Dot. And uh, you can choose any character that you want, any uh, hero that you want. Uh, I chose Dot. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create some, uh, some controls. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and get ourselves a wind green flag clicked from events. We're going to grab three of those. And we're going to make a left arrow, a right arrow, and an up arrow. Then inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to get a forever loop, three forever loops. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple conditional statements. Uh, so we're going to put an if then conditional statement here, another if then conditional statement here, and then a final one here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab some sensing blocks. And so the first one we're going to do is for the left arrow pressed. The next one we're going to do is for the right arrow being pressed. And then the final one is going to be for um, the up arrow being pressed. So what we want to do when any of these things happen is what we're going to do is we're going to first get ourselves a, a motion block. So we want our change X by for the left arrow to be negative 10. And then we want our change X by for the right arrow to be a positive 10. And then we want a change Y by for the up arrow key. This one's going to be a little different because what we want to do is we want to simulate a jumping movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to 20. And then what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate a bit of a weight in here. So we're going to have this weight for 0 0.025 seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change that Y by a negative 20. So that's going to create that jump effect that you saw in the lead in. So what we have, we've got all of our character controls. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start programming these buttons here. Um, so let's clear this existing code out of here. Uh, let's actually clear the code out for all these buttons. As well as these effects so that we can move a little faster. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste our blocks of code so that we can move through this a little quicker. So let's start off with button one. And for button one, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a, a wind green flag clicked from events. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a couple variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called green coin. We're going to create another variable called yellow coin. And then we're going to create a final variable called red coin. So let's get, let's uncheck the, uh, the prior ones. Now we've got these three variables here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do green coin is gonna go with this gray button. So what we're gonna do is the first thing we wanna do is we wanna start that off at zero. So we're gonna say green coin needs to start off at zero. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves a forever loop. And then inside this forever loop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place an if then conditional statement and if then conditional statement. And what we want to do is we want to say that if we're touching the character, the hero, then we're going to do is we're going to broadcast a message for the rest of the game to pick up. So if we're touching dot, then what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, events and we're going to broadcast a message. And that message is going to say we hit the green coin. And if we hit the green coin, what we're going to do is we want to change our Y by. We're going to have this be just a little small thing. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create that motion in the button. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into control. We're going to grab ourselves a weight, 0 0.05 seconds. 
And then we're going to go back into motion and we're going to change our y by a negative 3. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to play a sound. So we're going to grab this thing that says play sound of coin. We're going to play that until it's done. And then what we're going to do is we want to create a clone of the green coin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into control. We're going to create a clone of that green coin. And then what we're going to do is we want to change the green coin by one. So I'll grab that there. Change green coin by one. Okay, so that's the code for the first one. And so what we're going to do is now we're going to copy this. So what you can do is you can draft code to on top of other sprites like this. And when it lights up, then we know it goes there. And then we're going to do that one more time for that orange button there. So if we click in here, that code is already there. And what we need to do is we need to make some modifications based on that. So what the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to set this one um, to be yellow coin. And then we're going to say if we're touching dot, then we're going to broadcast that to be a new message. And we're going to say that we hit yellow coin. And then similar to before, we're going to have a change Y by. We're going to wait a half of a second. We're going to play this sound. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a clone of yellow coin. Then the next, oh, hold on, let's see, yep. and then we're going to change that yellow coin by one. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and then we're going to modify the code for the next one here. So what we're going to do is the final one here. Um, let's make sure. So we've got green coin, we've got yellow coin, and then we've got this, uh, this red coin here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this. Um, actually, no, we want this one to be the red coin. Red coin, we're gonna broadcast new message that says we hit the red coin. We're gonna create a clone of the red coin and then we're gonna change red coin by one. Then we're gonna go over here to the final one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this to be set, this yellow coin to zero. If it's touching dot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna broadcast that we hit the yellow coin change y by three we're going to wait play the sound coin we're going to create a clone of the yellow coin and then what we're going to do is we're going to change that yellow coin by one so now we have all the code for the buttons now we're going to go in and we're going to program one of the coins the first coin and then we can copy and paste that code like we did before so let's go into green coin what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the one green flag clicked and we want this coin to initially hide so we're going to have this hide when we first start off everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to broadcast a couple of mess, or we're going to receive that message. So when we receive that message for hit green coin, uh, we're going to make sure that we're hidden. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our ghost effect to be equal to zero. So we'll do the drop down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have um, this go to a specific point. So we want this. So let's show this green coin here. This is where it is. What you want to do is you want to place it right above there. And if you place it right above there, it's going to pick up those coordinates. And so that's going to make it easy for us to show where our coin is going to come from. So let's rehide that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a set size to. And we want this to start off at 50%. 50%. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say what do we what happens when I start as a clone so we go into control and we say when I start as a clone the first thing I want to do is I want to show up and after I show up what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm on that front layer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a repeat block instead of it being repeat 10 I'm going to have this do a repeat of 20 and then we're going to create a little animation in here so we're going to grab ourselves a a change size by we want our change size by to be two and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a couple things so first we're going to get ourselves a point in direction 
we're going to get ourselves a change y by. And this is going to be a lot of vertical motion. We're going to get ourselves another point in direction. And then we're going to get ourselves a change y by. And then we're going to get ourselves a change ghost effect. And we're going to have that change ghost effect by 5. And then at the very end, what we want to do is we want to delete that clone. Um, but instead of it just being set to fixed numbers, we're going to drop a couple pick randoms in here so that we have a different sort of like feel for this every time. So we're going to put some pick randoms in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the first one vary between negative 75 and 0. We're going to have our change y by go between 1 and 10. We're going to have this one go between 0 and 75. And then we're going to have the next one go between 5 and 8. And that's going to create a, a cool effect for us there. Now what we want to do is we want to drag this code into Redcoin. And we're going to make some modifications. You want to make sure that it sort of shakes when it does it. That's how you know that it's there. And this code is going to stack on top of each other. And then we're going to go inside of here and modify. All right. So now we're going to go into Redcoin. And we're going to make modifications. As you see, when you copy and paste, everything sort of stacks on top of each other. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure when green flag clicked high. And instead of it being hit green coin, what we're going to say is this needs to be hit red coin. Um, and we want to make sure that we change these coordinates. So we've got set ghost effect to zero. Uh, this one's going to start off at zero and 12 to be at that middle of the screen. And then we're going to set this size to start off at 60%. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to say what happens when we start as that clone. So we're going to do show. We're going to maintain this. We're going to take out a couple of these and modify them. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep that change size by. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a change Y by. We're going to have this vary between 10 and 30 so that we can get a little bit of a different effect here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a, a change color effect change color effect. You can play around with these different things uh, to basically make this look how you want it to look um, once you get a hang of this. So let's change color effect. And instead of it being by a standard uh, number, what we're going to do is we're going to have it be a pick random. And this pick random is going to vary between 1 and 10. 1 and 10. All right. And so now we're going to go over to the yellow coin and we're going to program that there. And so what we're going to do is, once again, these are sort of all stacked on top of each other. So we're going to delayer these. Um, and what we're going to say is, when I receive that hit yellow coin, I'm going to hide, set my ghost effect to zero. And I want to make sure that my coordinates are right. So it's going to be at 177 and 14. And this one, I want to set my size to be 40%. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify this again. Um, so we're going to leave that change. Uh, y by in there. We're going to get rid of that pick random. And for this change y by, we're going to have it vary between, let's call it 0 and 15. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change our brightness effect. We're going to have this brightness effect change by 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop these out of here. We're going to get ourselves another change effect. Um, and we're going to change our pixelate effect here. We're going to have this pixelate effect change by 7. Um, then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're matching up the scores to where they are at. So um, for the yellow coin, uh, we're going to have it be on this side here because that corresponds to where that is. Then we're going to have uh, the green coin above this one. Uh, let's make sure. Yep, red coin should be above this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that these are positioned, right? So um, we can show the coins. We can see, okay, that matches up with red coin. We can click on the green, make sure that matches up. And then we can show the yellow um, and make sure that that matches up. Another thing that I want us to do is I want us to go in um, and we're gonna click on sound. So like instead of these things sounding all the same when we play the coin effect, uh, the first one what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this one play a little faster. So that changes that one. We're going to have the next one play a little slower. And then we're going to have the final one have a, a more of a robotic sound, just so that these things sound a little different. So then what we're going to do is we're going to click on full screen. 
and we're going to click on the green flag. What we're going to do is we're going to go through. Let's see why this is not jumping here. So let's go to code. Uh, so we've got if the key, oh, let's change this to key space bar pressed instead of up arrow. All right, so let's go back in here. Let's click on full screen. Click that, see the points go up. We advance the next one. Let's see the next one. Let's see that one. So this is just a cool way to create some animations uh, with coins going up into the air. You can obviously incorporate this into a couple of different games. So hope you all enjoyed this project. Um, we appreciate a like, a comment, or a subscribe, and we hope you join us for the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you.